The decision with regard to the United National Party leadership will be made tomorrow. This was decided when the UNP parliamentary group met at the City Quarter Party headquarters recently. And up next is our special segment happening tomorrow. After the United National Party was led by exemplary leaders like D.S. Senanayaka, Dudley Senanayaka, J.R. Jayawardena, R. Premadasa and D.B. Vijayatunga, Ranil Vikramasinghe was appointed as the party leader in 1994. Since the time he took over the party leadership, the number of elections the UNP lost sums up to 31. After not taking up the opportunity to contest the 1994 presidential election following the demise of late Garmini Disanayaka, Ranil Vikramasinghe first contested the presidential election in 1999. Following the massive defeat against Chandrika Bandar Naga Kumar Tunga at the 1999 presidential election, he was defeated once again to Mahindra Rajpaksa at the 2005 presidential elections. Thereafter, he waited from contesting the presidential elections in 2010 and 2015, paving the way for a common candidate to contest the elections. After hiding behind the common candidate at the 2015 presidential election, certain views expressed by him in 2019 revealed that he had supported the opposing candidate during the election. On every survey, our candidate stood behind while Gotabe Rajapaksa was leading. When I reviewed the fourth survey, Gotabe Rajapaksa was leading with a big margin. So I told Vajirabe Vardhana to be careful about Gaul. I suggested that he at least focus his attention during the next couple of days. With only 50 days more to go to announce the general elections, several clusters of people who are with Ranil Vikramasinghe are expressing different views. According to the UNP constitution, appointing a leader for the party was decided at the party's convention. According to the party constitution, the parliamentary group does not have the right to appoint or terminate the party leadership. I would like to tell no matter what type of a meeting is convened, a different decision cannot be made. However, this is what the grassroots level members of the party had to say. The people betrayed us because the UNP did not listen to the views of the people for the past 26 years. Please understand this at least now. We only have a deal with the people of the Gaul district, with the members of our party. We do not have any deal with anyone else. But some people might want to strike deals. We know the stories about avant-garde. We know how the documents went missing when the citizenship of Gotabe Rajapaksa was challenged. We know some of the deals that were struck during the presidential election, but we do not want to expose these to the outside and take these internal issues to the public domain. So please do not act in a manner to expose these internal issues of the party through us. We are asking for what the UNP supporters in the country want. When the postal votes were being cast, we were at a disadvantage when Ranil Vikramasinghe came out and said that he is the Prime Minister. We were at a disadvantage at the presidential election because of the MCC agreement. Sajid Premadasa was to win this presidential election. But why we lost was due to the third class act of our party leadership, which did not allow the candidate to prepare for the election. Mahindra Rajapaksa and all of them got together at the end. We can simply see that they all got together and worked for the defeat of this person who represented the poor. Now can the party leadership be given to this person? It is not ethical. This leadership is not something that came from his family. If the party is being destroyed, Ranil Vikramasinghe should be held responsible. It is already too late. At least I believe we should be able to resolve this issue tomorrow. There are many people here with their personal requirements. The people will teach these people a lesson. So starting from tomorrow, we will not be deceived. We believe we can resolve this issue tomorrow. If not, we will have to seek an alternative.